Hey, what is up everybody? It's AJ here and in today's video I'm going to give you a quick tip in how you can change any default app in macOS. Of course, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to supercharge the way you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. That being said, let's get into this. So what you want to do is go into the app or the file that you want to change and change that default app into the program you want. So you can see here, I've got a few things in my download folder and I have this ICS calendar invite that by default opens up in the calendar app on Mac OS, but I want this to open up with Microsoft Outlook. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on the file and then I'm gonna go down to where it says get info. It's the fourth option from the top and I'm just gonna open up get info. This little dialog box is gonna open up and it gives you a bit of information about the file. So a bit of general information, a bit of more information and then down the bottom here, the second option, second last option from the bottom is open with. And we can see here that it is set as the calendar default. I'm gonna open up this option here and it's gonna give me a range of different programs that it thinks it may wanna open up with instead of the calendar default. I'm gonna choose Microsoft Outlook and go okay. And then I can actually just have this open up with Microsoft Outlook. But if I select on the option of change all, watch what happens. I hit change all and it pops up and it says, are you sure you want to change all the similar documents to open up with Microsoft Outlook? So this means next time I get a similar document, which is an ICS file, instead of having to right click and open up in Outlook, or instead of double clicking and it opens up in the default calendar app, it's simply just going to open up in Microsoft Outlook the first time around. I'm just going to hit continue. And you're going to see here that Microsoft Outlook is now the default. And there you have it. It is that easy to change your default apps in macOS. Of course, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're going to supercharge the way you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.